everyone in this short video I'm going to talk about Azure Machine Learning Services uh, a new service that we have in uh, Azure uh, that actually help you to do machine learning and it has different interesting uh, parts and help you to do machine learning uh, using AutoML uh, you uh, access to the Azure Machine Learning Studio you access to the virtual machine you able to access to the notebook and write the python code over there and deploy it easily uh, uh, and use it in other services from power bi from sql server and other application so let's see that how it actually works so going here if you go to the microsoft azure and click on create new resource under the ai and machine learning we have a Azure Machine Learning Services. So when you click on that, it actually asks you about the workspace name, the subscription that you want. You need to create a research group and the location of your uh, actually service. So you see that it's actually available in uh, most uh, Locations so from Australia, Canada, South uh, Asia, Europe, and US. So you can choose one of them, and then you actually you have a resource. So I'm already created one, so I'm going to just show you that what we have there. So I create one and I call it uh, my AutoML workshop. So this is the one that I have. As you see that, if I'm clicking on overview, I will see different components here. So I have able to access to the notebook in Azure Machine Learning. I will talk about that soon. Uh, create a new AutoML one that in today I'm going to talk about. You will be access uh, to Azure Machine Learning, a drag and drop environment there. And also lots of samples in GitHub and also you will be access to some documentation and from. And also you can access it through Azure Notebook. Okay, uh, for this one, you see that under the authoring, that is uh, still in preview, but you will be accessed to automated machine learning model. So you will be accessed there. Uh, I'm going to do a very uh, simple, uh, actually, prediction. Uh, first of all, uh, what I can see, these are the previews machine learning that I did. So AutoML actually help you to uh, uh, apply different algorithm on your data set. And also it try different parameters for the, each algorithm to find the best match for your data set. And you get a better accuracy of that. However, as you see here, we are also able to see the run history of what we have. So I have about seven complete run history. Uh, still nothing run. Uh, I don't have any failed. And I have one that already canceled. And you can see that the charts here. Also, this chart, you, it used uh, one of the interesting uh, visual that is plotly behind the scene and you're able easily to kind of see the one that actually is uh, for example I just want to see that uh, which one is running and which one is failed and the other so here you can easily slice and dice here okay so let us start so I'm click on create experiment click there I put a name and call it auto ml uh, uh, auto ML video and here you need to provide a compute so a cloud compute actually is a required so you're able to run your machine learning model through that so if you are you don't have already you need to create otherwise first check the pricing for that and then after that you're able to create one. I've already created one, so I'm going to uh, kind of uh, use that. Otherwise, you're able to kind of create one. So just have a look on that. So we have different uh, instance of that with a different size. So it's kind of the virtual machine that actually you run your model on that. So you see that we have different RAM pricing and the different things, which is the pricing is really good even for the big one uh, still the pricing is really good so i use the one that i'm already created i'm going to the next step 
and now is actually is going to get some uh, information about the storage account and the storage container just make it a bit bigger so it's a bit more visible so now I already import some of the data set here uh, but if you also want to upload you can easily click on upload and just kind of bring your data set here uh, so for example you can bring any data set that you want to here and use them so for example I'm going to uh, one of them um, that's a titanic one again so I upload it it's going to upload that one and because it's already there so I've said yep I'm interested in that one now here is actually you will see some preview of that also uh, actually you're able to see you can kind of search for this specific item and also you can make it uh, include or disclose them from the uh, data set that you want to work uh, also there's an option uh, beside that there's an option for the pre profiling this actually um, you should have it uh, uh, actually you should specify you need profiling when you create a compute I will talk about it later just for now we are going to do a simple one so I, I exclude the passenger ID I include the survive and passenger class I don't need the, some information like this like the fare and the other so I just include the one that I have here so uh, I, I need the uh, survive people survive or not passenger class the gender and age and just that so here at the bottom of the page you're able to choose the one that you want so the type of the machine learning you want to do that so as you see here we have three group classification regression and forecasting so i use the classification and also i want to predict people survive or it's not just limited to that one, so you're also able to specify the accuracy, which one is much more, uh, what metric you want to know, what's the maximum, actually, minutes you want to run, number of the iteration, I just make them very small, so uh, that kind of make it very fast for now, but you access to that one uh, you able to do some validation so validation type for the cross validation you can choose number of the cross validation again i make it minimize uh, the concurrency so at the same time running different algorithm you can specify that one and also the interesting part is that there are a list of the algorithm that exists here so you able to choose which one to be excluded so i'm just choose some of them to be excluded from here so this is the demo so i just use the logistic regression so it's going to actually get some information from me and it's going to apply the model through that and beside that it's going to apply different parameters for the each of that algorithm and uh, apply it so it's a start creating new automated machine for me and as you see here is actually you will see the iteration happen here if you want to access the log just simply there and the process will be shown here so it just starts so it's going to actually uh, uh, take about a couple of minutes so it's showing you the process so as you see here there you can see the iteration chart and everything you can see still here just uh, it take a couple of minutes so actually you need to wait till is everything is gone also if you go to the overview you will see that uh, it's actually uh, on the auto ML one if you go to the auto ML you should see that the run that actually running at this stage okay so as you see here is actually it shows that one is running uh, seven complex and the other so you see that this actually shows that at this stage in uh, 18th of june one of them is running you can back to there and 
kind of check the status again or you can access through here and uh, you need to be wait about a couple of minutes so kind of showing you the result okay so as you see that uh, the logs happen here data has been prepared and uh, you're able to see the some of the algorithm that has been done so uh, is actually is going to run some of them uh, but it's still taking a bit time to do that so let, let me show the one that I'm already actually created before so I'm just back to the one that I'm already created the same problem but different resource so as you see that this is the same problem that I run uh, but for more algorithms so these are the dots that you can see these are different algorithm having there as you can see it shows the accuracy for each of them so if you look at here these are the one that has 90 uh, kind of 80 percent accuracy these are the highest one the other one is there so it, these are the different logistic regression and uh, with a different uh, parameter so for each of them you are able to see the accuracy and you see that these are all different algorithm with a different parameter that apply so as you see that kind of they are all the same for this data set uh, so you can use one of them so for example I said okay this one is really good I'm going to look at this one I'm able to see also some of the uh, about the charts about the true positive and also pulse positive ratio like this one so as you see that as much as it's closest to true positive is better so lots of interesting charts uh, the uh, confusion matrix and many interesting things here also uh, you are able to actually to download the model or deploy the model uh, to the other so to deploy a model you need to do that so you need to register download the score download the environment and then use the actually deploy model so all of the, these processes automatically happen and you can do it uh, very easily here so this one is actually really fast as you see that just the running time is a bit slow because it's going to approach different algorithm with different parameters uh, but otherwise it's really easy so in next video hope so I'm going to show you how you can deploy the model there and then actually consume it in Power BI uh, service uh, thanks so much for watching this video